I'm just going to give you a chance to look at uh, a little bit more detail uh, the M degree sleeping bag range. I'd like to just show you the bags and some of the options that we've got and some of the choices that can be made when we build them for you. PhD is quite different to uh, other sleeping bag manufacturers. We make every sleeping bag and every item of clothing to order for the client. We deal directly with the end user and we build the kit for them. So we're not mass manufacturers, we're bespoke makers of gear and that allows us to make the kit just right for you. Um, so this is a basic M degree sleeping bag. It's got a full length zip on this one, but this is the basics of the M degree bag. Now the M degree bags are specifically focused on lightweight gear. They're, 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 they're perfect for racers or lightweight backpackers and trekkers or anyone doing long distances and who is really counting every gram of the kit that they carry. So it's for people that are looking for the maximum warmth to weight ratio that can be achieved. Okay, so now this is uh, the basics of the bag. I think you can show it quite well now. It's quite windy here today, so that's working quite well for you to see it. It's a mummy shaped bag quite a broad top to the to the hood area quite wide and that is to allow you to be able to be able to get into the bag without the need of a zip so a very lightweight way of, of designing a sleeping bag you can get in and out and you don't need a zip on the bag um, it's a box wall construction on the top and on the base it's actually stitched through you won't see it on the bag but the base is stitched through We've taken the walling out of it, stitched the outer fabric to the inner fabric, and that's because it saves weight and it works with the mat insulation that you're sleeping on, whether it's a thermarest foam filled mat or, a, or an inflatable, uh, uh, you know, something like a thermarest mat and so on. Um, that, is, that is a very efficient way to deal with the base, but on the top, um, you've got much more potential for cold air over the top of you and no other insulation above you. So this is box wall just on the top. The fabric is uh, 7X. That's a 7 denier fabric, super lightweight, uh, very, very downproof, windproof of course. And when you're working with such light fabrics, it allows the down to loft even further. It really gets the maximum out of the down. The down, of course, is 1,000 fill power down. Uh, this is a K series bag, a K for 1,000. It's a 1,000 fill power. It's very easy for me to say that quickly and not and, and, and make light of it. 1,000 fill power is the best in the world. It's very hard for me to find it. It uh, is incredibly expensive. Uh, they call it white gold of the down industry. Very few people in the world use it. It's just too expensive. But for us, we are looking for the best raw materials, the best performance, the best weight to warmth ratios you can achieve. And so, and because we deal direct with you, the end user, we just go for the best fabrics and the best down. We're always looking for the best and the price points don't stop me going for that best best raw material. So it's 1000 fill power down, that's a, a, a goose down and in fact it's pure down. There's no, no um, feather in it at all. It's pure down and that gives us the absolute maximum performance we can get. That's the basics of the bag. We, could, we, we build them for you so we can build them to fit you. The options are uh, from short, standard, long, extra long, and the same with widths, it's uh, slim or standard or wide or extra wide. So we'll build a bag in any combination that you require. Um, likewise, the bag can uh, be built with a zip. We can put a full length zip and we can, on the bag and we can put it on the left or the right hand side, you choose, we will build it for you. And, uh, or we could just do a short zip, um, half length zip, 
or in fact no zip of course the lightest the lightest version is just not to have a zip there is also another option with zips and that's just to have a foot zip on the bag uh, we've put that down the bottom here just a short little zip along the base along the side either side you can choose but the reason we do that is some of our customers racing in the deserts were just saying um, they really were getting quite sore feet and they wanted to cool them down in the evenings at night let them just cool off a little bit and so for these multi-stage desert races we were we were asked would we put a little foot zip in to let them be able to do that so that that is what we do and it's a great way to put in a very very lightweight zip for cooling the feet and then the other option on m degree bags is in the fabric type now the basic bag the the, the start point is um, 7x fabric it's, it's incredibly light and that's what the bags for and if you're racing in a dry climate uh, like desert races or you're uh, using the bags where you've got good coverage of the bag like in a tent or a tarp but you're not concerned about moisture then this is absolutely perfect um, the fabric does have a DWR co coating over it it's sprayed onto our fabrics but it is a short-term proofing so that's not you can't consider that a long-term waterproof treatment we can build the bag for you in hypershell now hypershell is is our lightest uh, waterproof fabric it's got a PU coating on the underside of the fabric uh, you can't see it on the top here if I was to open it up you'd see it a little you'd see it as a sort of milky coating it's PU is sprayed on it's um, it's got a high hydrostatic head quite uh, higher than a lot of tents actually so it's got a very good proofing and that will protect the down from condensation drips in a tent or a snow hole and also um, if you're rubbing the bag on, the, on a tent, if you're using these very lightweight and small tents or if there's two of you cramped in a one-man tent for instance in a race or something like that it's really difficult to, to avoid the sides of the tent and if there's wet gear in the tent again it's really tricky to avoid that touching the sleeping bag so by using a waterproof fabric, in this case Hypershell, that gives a lot of protection to the bag. Now you couldn't use that outside in the rain for water as a waterproof bag it, it because it's it's got these stitch lines in the construction to make the box walls there where the down is held in place um, so eventually water would seep through the little holes that have been made by the stitch lines so it can't be regarded for outdoor use in any way um, so if you're going to really be in damp conditions it's worth considering uh, one of the bags to be shelled so this is an m degree bag with a full shell around it so the bag's constructed and then on the top of it is a, a waterproof taped fabric this is Dryalex. it's a lightweight two layer laminate fabric and it can be taped along the seams there that's the we stitch it together and then we use a uh, hot tape which which uh, melts onto the uh, it, bond, it binds, it sort of bonds with the uh, laminate layer on the underside of this fabric and it seals it. So it's along the sides and along the feet. Of course you wouldn't use this again out in torrential rain, <laughs> the hood is open, water would get in, but it does give a massive amount of proofing to the bag. So if you were um, using a tarp for instance and you felt you wanted to really protect the bag from rain coming in, being driven in on the wind or something, it's a pretty good way to do it. Um, there is another way that we proof these bags and that is if I go back to the basic one, the 7X version, we can actually just put a, a waterproof foot panel on the base there. It's a bit like a bucket goes on to the end. We can either sew it on so it's permanent or we can make it removable by uh, just uh, putting on some little loops and it can be studded onto the sides and then taken off when you don't want to take it. But that, I did that because that just really waterproofs the footpiece and it's the footpiece. The footpiece is one of the areas that really is vulnerable to wetness and uh, condensation in small 
modern tents. It's most likely that if you pitch up with your head slightly, if you're sleeping with your head slightly higher than your feet, that you will slightly migrate lower down the tent during the night. And often you find that your feet are pressing against that end wall of the tent. So what I did was just design a simple foot piece that is made out of waterproof fabric, taped, so it's fully waterproof, a bit like a bucket, and it goes on the end there and protects all that vulnerable part where water would cause trouble. I hear it a lot where people say they get damp feet and so on, and it's because of that moisture uh, getting in from the wall where their feet are pushing against it. So there is that option as well, and that's a lightweight option to uh, give some proofing to the foot piece of an M degree bag. So, as I say, incredibly lightweight kit, focused for racers or lightweight backpackers and people doing long distance trails and so on who really want to go light. The M degree bags are worth a look. Um, there's one other to tell you about and that's the M degree uh, over bag. Again, it's incredibly lightweight kit. It's designed to go over the top of a sleeping bag, so it's not the same size, it's a little bit bigger. It's cut to allow the M degree bag to loft inside it, and that boosts the bag a great deal. So if you're, it, it, it's a good system if you've got a lightweight sleeping bag and then you have an over bag to go over it, a down over bag, specifically designed to do its job. Um, then you can really get into some low temperatures and you've got that flexibility. Two bags will give you three different temperature ratings, so a lot of flexibility in that. The overbag is made with uh, hypershell anyway because we anticipate the use of that into lower temperatures. So uh, there you go, some more detail on the M degrees for you.